Hi guys, in this video, the second video we've done on the new InPlay trading tool, we're going to show you how to set it up, how to benefit from it, and how to maximize potential. Go into the scanner here, which brings up all of the uh, current InPlay games uh, on Betfair, most of which are covered on the scanner. You see all the stats on the right hand side, you see various prices on Betfair, you see matched amounts, uh, we see the scores, times, dates, everything you need really. And what we recommend is to put in a minimum uh, of the following to uh, take out all of the obscure leagues that um, uh, have very little money, uh, have very little significance outside of their own countries. So what we do is we put in a minimum of £10,000 on the match odds, a minimum of £2,000 on over under 2.5 and £1,000 on the correct score. So that would take out a lot of the, uh, basically a lot of the rubbish that, um, that we don't really need. Uh, and this is what we're left with. On the left hand side here we have links to uh, soccer stats for um, plenty of games. So all you do is click in there and it will take you straight to soccer stats. We can sort them by date, time, score, event, uh, matched amounts on the match odds, and matched amounts on the over under 2.5 and the correct score. These can be sorted how you like, up or down, whichever way you fancy it. We could also highlight over the show correct score and it will show you all of the uh, correct scores on there too. So just hovering the mouse over here you can see exactly what the stats are. You've got shots on target, off target, corners, penalties, free kicks, red cards, yellow cards and possession. The possession will flash green when one side has 75% or more possession. And on the right here you have a couple of little buttons. You've got the delete and the highlight button. If you highlight a game like this and when there is a shot on target you'll hear a bleep and when there is a goal you'll hear the uh, the applause from the fans so just to uh, unhighlight these you just uh, tick it again and there we go these can be personal games these could be ones that you're trading to keep an eye on you know whatever shots on target we can enter a, a minimum amount there and it will bring up all of the games that enter uh, and fit this criteria. So there are all the games there that have had a minimum of eight shots on target. The sound alerts are there, so when there's a new game, you'll hear a little bell sound, so you know there's a new game come onto the uh, onto the screen. This can be turned on or off. Okay, we can add strategies, we can save them. It could be your own ones, personal ones, it could be uh, regulation ones like lay the draw. And this is how we set this up. Okay, so what we do is the match odds there, we can put in the home away draw, we can put in a minimum price and a maximum price. Okay, and there you see, we can see all of the games that the uh, minimum uh, and maximum price uh, on the draw have been hit. And if we want to find the games that are nil-nil for that price, 2 to 2.6 on the draw, then we could do that as well. That'll bring up uh, all of the games currently being played that fit this criteria. I'll show you a few more examples of what uh, what you can do. It, uh, it the sky is the limit with this tool. You can set it up to use it however you want. At tradingfootball.eu, we have a list of strategies that would uh, be perfect used in conjunction with the tool. 
So if you want to find games where the home side of trading between two and fours, and let's say uh, that's the current games that are coming up. But what about if we want to say um, find the games that are nil nil, where the home side are trading between two and fours? So we can do that as well. We can just put in these prices here, and the one ones disappear. Marvelous. And it certainly gives you an edge. The first night that uh, I used this um, uh, just to test it out, picked up uh, over a hundred pounds. Um, uh, the opportunities it, it it picks out are kind of staring you in the face and while there are no guarantees of course they're going to win it certainly gives you an edge and uh, saves you a lot of time and effort hunting around for the stats so this is a personal favorite the ads to aperitif home side traded 1.6 to 2.3 games are nil nil normally jump on these about sort of uh, 25 minutes in play. What I do here probably is just have a quick look at um, uh, the stats, the recent form, head to heads, before uh, making a decision on jumping on or not. So you move the timer around, you can uh, set it between whatever minutes you want. Uh, first 20 minutes, the first 40 minutes, you know, whatever you want. If you like trading lay the draw from 60 minutes on you can set it up to find games for that and every time a new one comes on the alert will sign sound a little bell so you, you'll know that a new game has come on so another little example is um, is a profitable strategy called the Full Monty, and what it is, it games at uh, a nil-nil at half time, a minimum of uh, five shots on target. Um, game is nil-nil. We're looking at uh, odds of uh, 1.01 to 124 on the under two and a half, and we find games this way. And what we do is lay under 2.5, back the nil-nil, and uh, if the game is still nil-nil at 60-65 minutes, we can then lay the draw. And these are just various examples that you can use. You can save them as you go along, so every time you come back they'll be there, and they'll open up and they'll have the games in front of you that you can trade. and just delete the filter and it'll uh, it'll return all of the games in front of you so if you're hot on possession stats you can set it up at uh, 60 65 percent and see how many those games currently fit that criteria not many by the look of it There's the sound alerts, as I say, the sound alerts when it's on, it will find um, new games that come on. And if you've highlighted those games, you'll get a little ping with a shot on target every time. And when there's a goal, the crowd will cheer. So I just found a little lay the draw there. The stats pointed that way. It looked like there was going to be another goal scored here. So just lay the draw at a, at a low price, just small stakes in this in this example, and just coming out, just trading out to to steal a few pounds. We've got the kickoff prices as well that are shown under the match odds, the current match odds, and the the over under 2.5 and the correct score. We have the Betfair graphs displayed, And this was another little lay the draw. Gilliam Crawley, it looked like there were going to be goals. So we just jumped on. And voila, there's a goal, 1-0. So just trading out of that. So these are just various examples on how to set the tool up, how to use it, how to benefit from it, and how to maximise potential 
in trading and profiting on Betfair. And over the last couple of days, we've added the times in minutes. You can see there, whenever there's a, a new stat assigned possession, we've added the minutes that that's actually happened. A very useful addition. So I hope you've enjoyed this video.